Tonight, state and federal officials are still trying to figure out what caused a devastating fire at a Greeleyville church that is no stranger to tragedy. Investigators say at this point there is no official cause for what happened at the Mount Zion AME Church last night. However, an anonymous federal official says early indications show this is not a case of arson. The fire was reported about 8.30 Tuesday night. A powerful band of thunderstorms hit that area just a few hours earlier, so lightning is being looked as a possible cause. Greeleyville is about 75 miles from Columbia. Less than 500 people live there. Now that very same church was a target of the KKK 20 years ago, so this latest tragedy is bringing back some very bad memories. Our Tara Pettit has more tonight. Nobody died. It's brick and mortar. We can rebuild. Church members and people from the small town of Greeleyville mourning together outside what is left of the Mount Zion AME Church. And this is a deplorable thing that could happen at this time, but we're going to try to be faithful to see what occurs from this crisis. This isn't the first time this church has seen tragedy. Just over 20 years ago, two members of the KKK set this church on fire as a hate crime, an act that caused then-President Bill Clinton to speak at Greeleyville and call for people of all races to come together. To ride up there last night and just see the church in flame again, it just, it, it, it gives you an ill feeling. Mount Zion is the seventh AME church to burn down since the Charleston church massacre that happened two weeks ago. Investigators say they still need more time to figure out exactly what happened here. We haven't ruled anything in or anything out at this point. We're going to let the case dictate and we're going to investigate it as the facts will ultimately determine what occurred. There's a lot of churches here, a lot of churches, but when something happens to one, it seems like it happens to all. Dennis Swearinger played in Mount Zion Church's praise band several times. Now, as the church is left picking up the pieces, this small community is bonding together to rebuild one more time. What can we do? The same thing we've been doing, just stay together and continue to pray. Just build it bigger and better. In Greeleyville, Tara Pettit, Watch Fox News.